We have an equation here, x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. Find all solutions of this x and understand what they mean in terms of a graph. You can do factoring by grouping and you know this technique. From here you're getting x squared into x plus 1. Here you keep it as is. But now when you look at it from a general overview, you can isolate x plus 1. And it's coming here, x squared plus 1 time. Equal these independently to 0 and solve for x. Here you're getting x equals minus 1. Here you have x squared is equal to minus 1, but x here is equal to plus and minus i. One real solution and two imaginary solutions. If you look right here at this original graph, you have a y-intercept, 0, 1. You have an x-intercept. On an x and y-axis, you can only demonstrate this solution, minus 1, 0 with a y-intercept. Your graph would look something like this. But these solutions right here, imaginary solutions, 0, plus and minus i, on a real axis and an imaginary axis, a complex plane, here's your one imaginary solution, here's your other, and you're done.